Let's start. Good evening, I'm Tony Carter, Ramsey County Commissioner and Chair of the Ramsey County Board. Elected from District 4 to represent Crocus Hill, Denoyer Park, Hamlin Midway, Highland Park, Lexington Hamlin, McAllister Groveland, Miriam Park, Snelling Hamlet, Summit Hill, St. Anthony Park, and Summit University. Some of those communities in part. On behalf of my colleagues on the Ramsey County Board of Commissioners and Ramsey County staff here this evening, I'd like to welcome you all to the 2021 Supplemental Ramsey County Budget and Tax Public Hearing. We're joined by translators of Spanish, Hmong, and Somali, as well as ASL interpreters tonight. And so translators, if you could please now introduce yourselves, asking whether attendees would like translation and also letting our attendees know that they can raise their hand if joining by Zoom or ask verbally if joining by phone. And I'll call on for that purpose first, Oscar, to please start us off if anyone would like Spanish translation, Oscar. Oscar, your microphone is currently zooted. Would you zoom, uh, muted? Would you unmute, please? And if Oscar's having a little bit of difficulty, if you're not there yet, Oscar, I'm going to call on Saeed first, then to ask if anyone would like translation in Somali. Saeed. I wonder if we're having a little difficulty getting our translators in. I'm gonna try this one more time, starting with Oscar. Okay, I'm gonna try Katrina and see if Katrina can get in uh, regarding translation in Hmong, Katrina. Yeah, good evening. This is Katrina Her. Gulumbeho Katrina na yo. Ya janya chikitani cha sha da mulun nong sata tong mono yo shinchi no lo uh yong shato sai ne ne cha te ne hate ne yoku chai lu tone na to. Thank you. Katrina, thank you very much. Let's try Oscar again. Oscar, are you there for translation in Spanish? All right, one more time I'll try Saeed and if we can't get Saeed now, we'll come back before we start to ensure that we get folks in for translation. Saeed, are you there? All right, well, we'll come back to that. I wanna make sure to thank all who are joining us virtually or by phone this evening and to let you know that following tonight's hearing, a video will be available through our website RamseyCounty.us. I'd also like to introduce you before we go back to our translators to your Ramsey County commissioners and our county manager. So we'll start those introductions off. Commissioners, please, as I call your district, introduce yourself and let our audience know what cities and neighborhoods you represent. I'll call first on District 1. Thank you, Chair Carter. I'm Con Commissioner Nicole Joy Freba. I represent District 1. District 1 includes the cities of Arden Hills, Shoreview, North Oaks, Gem Lake, Badness Heights, White Bear Township, and portions of Spring Lake Park and Blaine that are in Ramsey County. And I also represent three quarters of Moundsview. Thank you very much. District 2. 
Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm Commissioner Mary Jo McGuire. I represent District 2, and I have the one-fourth of uh, Mounds View, the city of Mounds View, also the entire cities of Lauderdale, Little Canada, Roseville, and New Brighton, and the Ramsey County portion of St. Anthony Village. Thank you. District 3. Thank you, Madam Chair. I am Trista Matas Castillo, a Ramsey County Commissioner, District 3. I represent Hamlin Midway, Como, Frogtown, the North End, parts of the East Side, and the whole city of Falcon Heights. Thank you very much. District 5. Thank you, Madam Chair. My name is uh, Rafael Ortega, Commissioner for District 5, which includes Highland, Mac Grove, West 7th, downtown the West Side. Uh, Mounds, Railroad Island, and Sweet Hollow on the east side, and the Capital District uh, neighborhoods. Thank you. District 6. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Good evening. I'm Jim McDonough, and I represent most of the east side of St. Paul. Thank you. And District 7. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm Victoria Reinhardt, and I do represent one precinct on the east side, so I'll start off with that of St. Paul. And I also represent the cities of Maplewood, North St. Paul, and White Bear Lake. And thank you. Finally, the county manager is here with us as well. I'm, thank you, Madam Chair. Good evening. I'm Ryan O'Connor. I'm the Ramsey County Manager. Happy to be with you this evening. Thank you. And now, would you all please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance? And for clarity, I'll ask at this time that you all mute your microphones. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Before we move on, I want to go back for translation and call on Oscar for Spanish translation, Oscar. I will call on Saeed for translation in Somali. Saeed. I am not hearing Oscar or Saeed, so we will come back once again before we begin. Uh, thank you so much. I now like to just share a few words for context to explain tonight's proceedings before inviting Commissioner Reinhardt, who is the chair of our budget committee to present the budget. As has been evidenced by our needing to be here virtually tonight rather than in person, this has been a year like no other. COVID-19, the pandemic has, in, has affected so many of our families. So many have suffered mournful losses and because of that, I'd like to ask that we take a brief moment of silence to recognize the hundreds in Ramsey County who've lost their lives to COVID-19 and the thousands and thousands of families who've been affected by this pandemic. A brief moment of silence, thank you. Thank you so much. So COVID-19 has brought serious hardships to our families and also to our businesses. One thing that Commissioner uh, Reinhardt will be sharing tonight with you is that since the approval of our two-year 2021 budget last December, that's 2020 through 2021, uh, we were approved in December and since then, and the creation of our supplemental budget on which we're inviting you to comment tonight, we've adjusted the proposed property tax levy from a previously planned increase of 4.5% down to 0%. This is in response to the difficulties our families and businesses are facing today 
and that we expect will continue throughout 2021. Please know that every hour of every day of this pandemic, we in Ramsey County have been working to provide county services to those that need them most while maintaining responsible fiscal stewardship of your hard earned tax dollars. And even though we're not proposing an increase to the overall property tax levy, we know that individual property owners will experience changes in their valuations and property taxes. So we've created a video that will help explain how these changes occur and it is available at ramseycounty.us slash public hearings. We'd encourage you to take a look at the video. We know that you may be attending this meeting with questions about changes in your property taxes and valuations of your individual properties. And if you're joining us tonight with these types of questions, our county assessor and his staff are available right now by telephone. You can call them at 266 2131. So this public hearing is an opportunity for you to share your thoughts on the budget and property taxes with commissioners. We're in a hearing format and so we'll be listening to you, but we will not be responding directly to questions. If you are here with questions about your property valuation, again, I'd encourage you to call our assessor's office, that number 266-2131 and they're available during at that number during business hours as well. If there are general questions and themes that arise from tonight's commentary, we will answer those following the hearing on our website at ramseycounty.us slash budget. Just know that your feedback is very important to us as we move forward toward our final budget approval, which will be on December 15th. So, Here's how we'll proceed this evening. We'll ask for your patience as we settle into conducting this hearing virtually for the first time. Each person who would like to will have two minutes to address board members. We'll go in order of those who've signed up in advance, followed by those who are joining us by telephone, and then we'll proceed to those who are joining virtually. We'll ask all who are speaking to state their name and their city of residence before beginning to provide testimony. We do want everyone who wishes, and we do want to give everyone who wishes an opportunity to speak. And again, this is a public hearing format, so we won't be answering the questions directly. We will provide an FAQ in response to any things following the hearing on our website, as mentioned before. Before handing this over to Budget Chair Reinhardt to present the budget, I will try one more time to ensure that we have the translation as available to us to call on Oscar. Uh, Madam Chair, Oscar has disconnected to uh, attempt to rejoin. I want to note that our translators were being heard in their specific language channels and uh, we have other folks testing that right now. So unfortunately, we weren't able to hear them simultaneously. Okay. Uh, but if uh, participants uh, That's great. were to click on the interpretation box at the bottom of their control panel, uh, they'll, have the, they'll have those language options available to them at this time. I'm so thankful that you shared that with me and so that we know the translation will proceed as planned. That can is you great. hear me, my, uh, Mike? Yes, Oscar, we can now hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. All right, sorry. Uh, I think something's happening with the system. Good evening, commissioners. Uh, buenas noches a todas las gentes. Uh, yo voy a, a, a traducir a la gente y ayudar a la gente que habla español. Eh, estaré ayudándole y para que puedan eh, a través de mí comunicarse eh, con los comisionados uh, eh, de sus propiedades, si tienen algunas preguntas, yo estaré ayudándole a ustedes. Gracias. Thank you very much. I know that Mike has shared that you are, you are Mike was, Mike was off, off, Oscar. I'm gonna check to see if in fact Saeed is also with us. Saeed there. All right, and although we may not hear Saeed here, we know that he is available in the translation room. And so that will be available to us. And now I will call on our budget chair, 
Commissioner Reinhardt. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, again, am Victoria Reinhardt. I am a commissioner from District 7 and also chair of the Budget Committee. And I'd like to begin actually by thanking uh, Commissioner uh, Trista Maris Castillo. She is vice chair of the committee and we've had, along with staff and leadership, a lot of work uh, took place this year. So I wanted to give her a special thank you tonight. Uh, tonight, I respectfully submit the proposed Ramsey County Supplemental Budget for public comment. This fall, uh, the Ramsey County Board of Commissioners approved a maximum property tax levy of $326,073,145 to finance the 2021 budget, which calls for total spending of $747,471,298. As Chair Carter mentioned, it was in December of last year that we approved the biennial budget for 2020 and 2021. And that budget called for an increase of $15 million in 2021, which was a 4.75% property tax increase. Due to the COVID-19 impacts on our families, residents and businesses, the supplemental budget that we are seeking your comment on tonight has been adjusted so that there is no increase to the property tax levy. For sake of comparison, the State Department of Revenue recently published that the average of all counties in Minnesota is a 1.5% increase this year. It's important to note that property taxes fund about 44% of our budget in Ramsey County. Obviously, uh, trying to meet this challenge of uh, target of zero meant that leaders and staff from across the county have identified a number of items to, that to try to get us through this. And they are short-term solutions. They include uh, keeping uh, unfilled positions open, putting off investments in technology, and using one-time funds from the county's fund balance. Although these, although these adjustments uh, keep our budget structurally sound and retain our key priorities, which is incredibly important. We know that it's not sustainable for the long term. To better understand these adjustments in the overall budget picture, please visit ramseycounty.us forward slash budget. The documents and the videos that are linked there contain many levels of information, whether you're looking for just a general overview or a line item detail. And again, that website is ramseycounty.us forward slash budget. Thank you for your feedback and your interest in participating in the hearing. Your input is essential. Please know that we make every effort to provide Ramsey County taxpayers with essential services at an affordable cost. Looking ahead to next year, we know that the effects and hardships caused by the pandemic will continue and we are working hard to squeeze every nickel to continue providing essential services to the community efficiently, equitably, and cost consciously. The county remains in strong financial standing as evidenced by the fact that we are one of the a few counties in the nation holding a AAA bond rating by the top rating agencies and have held this rating since 2001, which quite frankly is pretty amazing. Essentially, this is like having a great credit score. And so it saves taxpayers millions of dollars literally each year. After we hear from you this evening, the final budget approval, as the chair mentioned, by the board will occur on December 15th. The final approved property tax levy may not exceed the maximum levy that was set in September, but it could be lower. Changes to the budget may occur by actions taken by the board but there will be no increase in the levy as a result of those changes. We're here to listen to you tonight. Thank you for your time and consideration. We look forward to your comments and suggestions. And at this point, I will turn it back to board chair, Tony Carter. Thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner Reinhardt. So now before we get started, just a couple of reminders on procedure. This is a public hearing. In this format, we do not respond. We're here to listen. If there are general questions and themes that arise, we will answer those following the hearing on our website at ramseycounty.us slash budget. If you're here with questions about property valuations, the county assessor and his staff are available right now by telephone. And that number is 651-266-2131. 
We want to give everyone a chance to speak that wishes to. You'll have two minutes to share your thoughts before we move on to the next attendee. Please be respectful of that time and also of tone. This is a safe, open and respectful space and we will moderate as necessary to keep it so. Let's ask again if anyone has joined with like translation in Spanish, Hmong, or Somali. Oscar, then Katrina, and then Saeed. I am assuming that they are heard in their rooms, in the translation spaces, is that correct, Mike? Yes, Madam Chair, at this point, I don't see that we have any attendees who are uh, requesting translation. Great. All right, thank you. So thanks everyone for coming this evening. I now, now will call the 2021 Supplemental Ramsey County Budget and Tax Public Hearing to order. And Mike Lindsay from our communications team will assist as our moderator tonight. Mike, would you please like to start things off for us? Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, we'll begin tonight by um, inviting those who pre-registered to speak uh, to do so first. Uh, remember uh, that you have two minutes and when it is your turn to speak, you'll be promoted out of the attendee role and into a panelist role. There is a brief delay while that happens. So if it appears that you are leaving and immediately rejoining the meeting, uh, that's to be expected. And of course, your time will start uh, once your audio is, is connected. Um, when you're on the clock, you do have the ability to turn your video feed on. Uh, that's, that's truly up to you. Uh, you're encouraged, but not required to do so. Um, for those who uh, do wish to speak, uh, I would ask that you uh, raise your hand and leave it raised. We will be calling on you and unmuting you in that order. Uh, raising your hand uh, can be done in the taskbar at the bottom of your screen that will in fact hold your place in line. Our first speaker tonight is Jim Fox of St. Paul. I have just one Jim, uh, two Jims in the chat, uh, one that does not have a last name. I'm going to assume for the moment that this is Jim Fox and uh, bring him into our meeting. Uh, for those who are in the queue and waiting and wish to speak, would you please adjust your screen name to show your first name and last name? It will help us tremendously as we progress with the logistics tonight. Okay, Jim, you've been invited to unmute your microphone. Okay, okay, this is Jim Fox. Can you hear me? Yes, Jim, and your two minutes begins right now. Thank you. Um, I listened to the, the beginning of this meeting and it sounds like there are no major increases in taxes, but I have a, a uh, business and my taxes went up 27% in one year. Uh, it seems uh, rather enormous. And is the businesses being treated differently than residents? Did anybody hear me? Jim, thank you for being here tonight. This is a public hearing and we're asking you to take two minutes for comments. Questions will be responded to in general theme on our website following the public hearing. Did you have additional comments or questions? Thank you. Can you, can you hear me? I, okay. I was just wondering why commercial property has gone up so radically and the taxes have gone up so radically in one year and they don't seem to go up for the residents, the homeowners. Thank you, Jim. Of course, individual circumstances uh, can be responded to at 
2131, that's 651 And we will be responding to the general things later. Mike? Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Our next speaker on the uh, on the sign up list is Deanna Monier of St. Paul. I don't see Deanna as an attendee at this time. Deanna, if you are here, would you please adjust your username accordingly, and we will come back to you in short order. Uh, our uh, we will next go to uh, the folks who have called in at this point, Madam Chair. We just have two folks who have joined by phone. Um, and I'll identify them by their phone number. If you hear your phone number and wish to make a comment, please say so at that time. Again, I'll call each number twice and uh, we'll begin with 612-308-2425. Uh, uh, if you wish to make a comment, please unmute and, uh, and note that at this time. Again, that phone number is 612-308-2425. Hearing no response, Madam Chair, I'll move on to our second caller. Uh, that number is 651-488-4824. If you wish to make a comment, please unmute and uh, note that at this time. Again, that phone number is 651-488-4824. How does someone that calls in unmute? Uh, they hear an audio prompt, Commissioner. Uh, when I okay. when I when I prompt them to uh, to allow their microphone, they hear the audio prompts and how to do that on their particular device. Uh, hearing no response from that number. Madam Chair, I'm going to move on to uh, our folks who have joined by computer, tablet, or smartphone. Uh, again, if you wish to be one of these folks, please raise your hand and leave it raised. Uh, the first person in that list is John Reynolds. And uh, John, bear with us as we promote you to panelists, at which point you'll have access to your microphone and video feed. John, it looks like you're in and uh, your two minutes begins now. All right, thanks. Yeah, hi, man. My name, is, my name is John Reynolds, and um, I'm a resident of St. Paul. Thanks for taking my comment. Um, I was, uh, you know, wanted to attend. So my wife and I own a modest four-unit home in the Summit University neighborhood of St. Paul. And we just received notice that our property tax has increased an amazing 18.6% for 2021. So, um, in fact, our property taxes increased to 241 percent from 2016 over the past five years. So I realize that some of this increase is due to property valuation adjustments over the past five years, but I can't imagine any scenario in which our actual property value is somehow worth 241 percent more than it was five years ago. Um, and we actually, you know, our goal is to offer high quality living with below market rents. And so we rent out our apartments for $800 a month to $1,000 a month, including utilities. But our taxes alone are now almost $10,000 a year. So my concern is that if other multifamily owners have experienced similar increases of 240% in five years, rents will continue to rise. So I guess my comment is just that we look seriously at small landlords and the increases that folks like us have seen over the past few years and try to find some other solution. I know it's, you know, probably challenging times from a budget from all, but I don't want to see you know, these increased rents shift to renter or these increased taxes shift to renters. So I guess that's my main comment and thanks for um, listening. 
Thank you. Thank John. you very much. And just a reminder of the six five one two six six two one three one for individual questions. Thank you. Go ahead, Mark. Thank you. One person I forgot to point out is our timer, Megan Fournier. So uh, for our speakers and commenters tonight, while you're doing so, uh, you'll see Megan in your gallery view, who will give you a prompt when you have 30 seconds remaining in your time, uh, and then a polite reminder when your time expires. Uh, our next hand in our queue uh, belongs to the username M Taylor. Uh, and M Taylor, I'm going to uh, promote you now. Just a reminder that when you begin to do so, please with your first name, last name, and your city of residence. And you can put on the So uh, I'm speaking for my wife and I. Um, I'm Kai Lawson. My wife is Melissa Taylor, hence M. Taylor. Uh, we live in St. Paul uh, over on the east side. Um, we're first time homeowners. We started living in, in our home June 1st. Um, we got a notice in the mail with our estimated market value for our home being about what it was listed for subsequent evaluations have uh, shown that to be low. Our new valuation is, has gone up on the same piece of mail. So property values seem to be increasing, but our property tax has gone up 40% according to this statement. Um, and there's some interesting breakdowns, um, almost a third, maybe almost a quarter of the increase is going towards the regional railroad authority. Neither of us are opposed to the railroad, but we're wondering what the increase is about, especially now when budgetary restrictions are really tight. And we're also wondering what this under state general tax uh, item B, other local levies, that's uh, also about a quarter of our increase. Um, that's not broken down. Is there any way to get increased transparency or breakdown to see what those levies are? Thank you for your question. Just a reminder of the 651-266-2131 number for individual questions. And also that we have a description of the ways in which uh, taxes appear and in fact, the ways in which they change on our website as well. By video, it is ramseycounty.us slash public hearings. Thank you. Mike. Uh, I won't I won't continue to remind, but I just want to make sure people understand this is a public hearing. We're here to listen and not respond to questions tonight and make certain that they are aware of that information. I believe it's also appearing on our screen. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. Mike. Thank you, Madam Chair. Our next speaker is under the username DA Lord, and uh, we'll bring you into the uh, panelist chat now. DA Lord, it looks like you're unmuted. Uh, and so I think we'll begin your time uh, right now. Um, my name is David Lord and I live in New Brighton. I've been in this community in this, in this home actually for 30, over 30 years. And over the past year, we've received a number of increases. One was an assessment increase. Uh, my, the, my property assessment went up 19.4% uh, between 2020 and 2021. Um, then in addition to that, um, there was a 15.4% increase in tax from 2019 to 2020. And now we're coming back with the supplemental budget, um, which adds another 9.1% onto that, on top of that. So I'm kind of curious um, why, where these numbers come from and why they're so substantial. It's, we talked about a zero increase in property tax and yet mine shows an indicator of 9.1% increase. And that's just between the, the stated tax for 2020 and the proposed tax for 2021. 
Now, I know I'm not going to get an answer right now. So uh, it it I wanted to state those things, lay those things out there. Um, but I, I was more, most concerned initially, and I can talk with the assessor's office about the property value increase uh, of 15.4, uh, not 15.4%, 19.4% uh, for the last two years from 2020 to 2021, my property value increased 19.4%. That seems like a high jump for one year, which of course is reflected in, in the taxes that I'm expected to pay. And then we come through and add supplemental um, changes, which add another 9.1% to the property tax. So I'm, I'm a taxpayer that's kind of curious about why all of this all of this all of a sudden and uh what is it that we can do to um slow it down thank you for your question thank you for your question mr lord mike thank you madam chair uh, at this time we don't have any other folks with a hand raised in the queue uh, what I might suggest is uh, calling the two phone numbers that are uh, still in the chat once more, just to be sure that we aren't missing anyone. Um, so I'll go back to that procedure. Um, the uh, I'll call these numbers twice. If you uh, wish to make a comment and you are um, uh, and you, if you wish to make a comment, please unmute yourself uh, via the function star six. The, the function to do that is star six. Uh, and do so at that time. So the uh, first number is 612-308-2425. And our uh, second phone number is 651-302. Four four five five six five one three zero two four four five five. Hearing no response, Madam Chair, uh, we do have one other hand raised now that belongs to Elena McNamara, and we'll promote Elena at this time. Hi, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Elena McNamara. I live in St. Paul and um, I wanted to speak just briefly. Uh, in reviewing the budget, it looks like um, the Financial Assistance Services Department is used to being understaffed and that seems pretty concerning given the current conditions that we're all living in and all of the struggles people are having. I'm wondering if more money can be redirected in this budget towards them, perhaps shift it away from say the sheriff's office, um, because I think that it would really be a better use of that fund, those funds to you know, give people what they need up front. And I know that a lot of people are struggling, maybe um, turning to you know, things that they don't want to do to get you know, what their families need. Um, and I just think it would be a lot better use of that money if we can, if we can shift some of that in that direction. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Ms. McNamara. Mike, yeah. are there others? Uh, Madam Chair, I see no other hands raised at this time. Uh, if there are folks attending that wish to speak, I would invite them to uh, hit that raise hand feature at the bottom in their control panel now, and uh, they would be next to speak. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we'll hold just for a few moments before we close in case there are others who want to raise their hand to speak. You will be recognized before we close the public hearing if that is the case. But I'll just um, make a few comments. Thank you so much for your questions and also for your comments. As indicated, because this is a public hearing, we are not responding directly tonight. However, there is a phone number that you can call to speak with our assessor. That number is 651-266-2131. Uh, we would love to respond to your specific questions about your taxes and valuations at that number tonight before we close the public hearing. And of course, uh, that number is also available during business hours following tonight. 
I do also want to remind you that for specific themes that have arisen tonight that we have heard, we will be posting to our FAQ uh, on the website. So please look forward to that page going up to respond to general themes, uh, questions about of course, how property taxes rise can be answered specifically at the 266-2131 number, or the video is available also on our website, again, ramseycounty.us, so that you will be able to better interpret your own statement and or understand generally how property taxes can change. Um, and then finally, of course, each commissioner is on the line tonight and welcomes your email or phone calls if in fact you have a specific question for the commissioners. We are here virtually tonight, different than regular times when we would be able to immediately come down and talk with you. Uh, but certainly please check our website for any telephone number or email address that you might need to be in touch with your commissioners. And thank you for understanding the necessity of this format tonight so that we are all COVID safe uh, and sound at our screens and unfortunately not in person. Uh, again, thank you for your comments and for your questions. I wanna check with Mike to find out if others have signed up or raised their hands. Uh, Madam Chair, we, we do have uh, one new hand and a hand from a person who has uh, commented previously. Uh, let us begin with a hand from Corey Cole. Corey, we're going to promote you now, and uh, once you're connected, uh, we'll get you on the clock. Corey, Hello, my name is Corey Cole. I live in St. Paul in the Cathedral Hill neighborhood. I would just like to express um, for the commissioner's consideration, my community's interest in affordable housing as a main budget priority. Um, recent studies have come out from scientists at UCLA and Johns Hopkins that estimate that evictions alone have been directly responsible for about 10,000 excess COVID cases, um, excess deaths and 437,000 excess cases. I think that um, especially now, but always, everyone deserves the right to housing and we really need to look after our neighbors because their health impacts ours. Uh, to find the money to do this, I'd be happy to take some, you know, like from the sheriff's um, budget as someone suggested earlier, uh, police spending is not necessarily correlated with um, greater public safety outcomes. Um, but, you know, as, as long as people are housed, that's all I really want to say. Um, I see my time, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Cole. Mike? Uh, Madam Chair, the remaining hand in our queue is from DA Lord, who shared a comment with us before. Uh, with your permission, I will allow DA Lord, uh, that, that combo of folks, uh, to speak. And just uh, maybe that's the easiest way to, to ascertain um, the intention. Thank, thank you. Let's go ahead. Uh, DA Lord, I've asked you to unmute your microphone and um, address us at this time, please. My question really is more, the, the letter notifying the supplemental increase arrived at my home Thursday or Friday of this past week. And there was, when was this meeting changed to virtual from an in-person? Because that particular notification had an in-person meeting date and time at the red, red cap room in, at, this, at the depot, which my wife and I went down and tried to locate and discovered that the meeting had been changed to virtual. Madam Chair, would you like me to give a... Oh. Thank you. Go ahead, County Manager. Mr. Lord, I'm really sorry to hear you went down there. This is Ryan O'Connor, the County Manager. We began printing the notices that go out to all households in Ramsey County a number of weeks ago. And since that time, the governor's executive order came out limiting gatherings due to COVID-19 preparedness. Um, we did all that we could to notify um, through the means, and hopefully you saw signage when you got there. We were worried though about exactly what you described. And um, I apologize that you made a trip down there. We're glad that you found a way to get on and join us virtually and provide your comment this evening. I did find no signage. Thank you, Mr. Lord, for your sure. comment and sharing yep. that with us tonight. 
Uh, we do apologize for the inconvenience and the intent of course was to make certain that everyone was notified uh, due to the governor's stay at home order or due to the governor's orders newly. Yeah. We did have to accommodate. Thank you so much. Are there any additional comments, Mike? Madam Chair, there are no other hands in the queue at this time. Thank you very, very much. Um, once again, just the reminders of our website, uh, commissioners available to talk with you, and of course, individual questions that can be pursued at 651-266-2131. Also, the information on our website on video that will help you to interpret if there is any need, your own statement, and or just generally understanding how changes can occur, uh, even with a 0% property tax increase. We want to say thank you very, very much to all who have joined us tonight. And without further comment, then for the public hearing, I will now call the public hearing to an end. This public hearing is closed. Thank you all and good night. Thank you.